Guys, I'm gonna have to go bold soon. What do you think? Should I go bold? Should I just go bold? I mean, my hairline is, uh... It's looking pretty damn tragic if you ask me, man. It's almost time to cut it, man. It's almost time. Okay, anyway. Welcome back to the 100 Day Drawing Series. My name is Nori Plays, and today... We are gonna be doing the most basic of basics. We're gonna be doing gesture drawing... Using only cylinders. Only cylinders. Before we learn anatomy, before we learn anything, we need to learn the proportions of the human body uh, using basic shapes in perspective. The gesture drawing we did on day seven wasn't good because if I show you, so the problem with these gestures is that I didn't break them down to simple shapes at all, to be honest. This isn't a simple shape. It's just a silhouette. Which doesn't really help me break it down in my brain as to what the perspective is like. It just doesn't help at all. Um, so yeah, that's what we're gonna do today with a bit more references. And then in the second half, we'll come up with our own cylinder poses. Hopefully by the end of that, we'll try apply that knowledge using cylinders. Okay, so let's do this. I am going to drag in a reference. Let's drag in this. Now, I'm really challenging myself here by trying to break down this reference, but you know what? Life's all about a challenge. Okay, so here we go. Cylinders only. Let's just start. So, as you can see, we're going to start from the neck using a cylinder. Okay, the neck, and then the, the torso. Literally, I am not going in deep today. As you can see, the cylinders are leaning, so we have to show that. Like that. So the neck attaches and so on and so forth, but we're only drawing the contours of these, these objects. And then the head. So if I draw the head, just trying to show the main energy of the head. So what I'm doing is I'm separating each joint from themselves. Since we're drawing this on a larger scale, the head would be like this. In comparison to the chest. Oops. Okay. And then the arms. What are the arms doing? And what is the pelvis doing? So, chest would actually be longer. That's what I'm noticing straight away. <laughs> Why don't we just connect everything? We'll start from the head and work our way down. I don't know why I did that. Start from the head. Very simple. It's looking upwards. So there's a lot more curve get happening at the chin. Like this. And then the neck. Comes down. Again, only using cylinders, by the way. Like this. Uh, torso draw the main curve of the gesture kind of like that okay so you can see the hips are really leaned but again we're only using cylinders so we don't have to worry about that right now. So it'd be more like this. Well, it's actually looking away, so we'd be seeing the top side, but not quite the bottom. And then we'd be seeing this there. Like that. 
And then again, we don't draw the joints like the shoulders like I always did. We just draw everything apart from the joints. So cylinder four. The main arm. So that would be like that actually. It's actually looking away here as well. So what's happening is the perspective's being warped. And then here you get foreshortening. Which kind of does that with her hand. And the hand itself is whatever, right? Okay. And then what's happening with this shoulder is you can kind of make it out. If I drag that layer above. Shoulder. Into the main joint there. And then again, foreshortening. But this time, this piece of the arm is going away. That's what you do. Is do that. So that's kind of what's happening. You, I need to be able to keep seeing this in every single drawing that we do today. This doesn't have to be like completely proportionate, right? Again, use as, as few lines as possible. And then I will slowly start to realize that Kind of like this. And then what we can also do to add an extra level of complexity to this is add contour. Simply just add contour here. To show that which way these cylinders are facing. So that one's facing that way. This one's facing like this. This one's got the contour over there. And it kind of curls in towards here. Right? And then this cylinder is... Okay, I said I limit myself to a few lines. So I need, I'm rubbing all of that out. Okay, so there it is, our hand, it really doesn't matter. The hand can literally be something like that, it, it, again, it really doesn't matter. And then we just keep breaking down this pose here. And then you can see that the cylinder here, move down. This foreshortening happening. So it, it'll do that from both ends. You wouldn't see the top. Actually, I lied. I lied. You would see the bottom. Like that. Because it's coming out a little bit. So it'd be like that. The other one. If you have trouble seeing the contour, like the the way the cylinders curve away, then what I suggest you do is literally just draw the circles. Just draw the circles of where the joints go up and join up first. Okay, so you will be able to notice that this one they're both kind of straight here. So you just do that. And then here, you have another cylinder. Again, facing away. Because if you do this, 
That means you are seeing the underside of it, which potentially means that it's been brought forward. And if you do this, that means it's brought away. So what happens is you don't really want to show it when you don't need to show it. But in this case, it works like this because the knee is here and it's bending your back down away this way. So that's kind of how the leg's working in here. The lower leg is going a bit backwards. The upper leg is going a bit forwards. So you're going to be seeing the underside here on the upper leg and then the top side of the lower leg. And the same with here. Uh, in here, you'll be seeing the opposite. I'm pretty sure you'll be seeing you won't even be seeing that. Yeah, so you'll be seeing that. The underside. Because that's coming out. But you won't be seeing this because this is going... Huh. <laughs> now that I draw it, I realize that it is doing... That. For this. Right? Yeah, so you're seeing the underside there, but then here, you are seeing that, surely. Because you can't possibly see two of that. That's what I'm thinking here. So we're just drawing the, po the, the pose, not the pose, sorry. And then the feet can be as simple as that. It doesn't really matter. Okay, here we go. So this is curving. So what's happening here is that you're neither seeing. Let me get this right. Let me get this right in my head. Hold on. Let me think. Yeah, that is that contours like this contours middle. Then bottom. Yeah. Okay. And then... That would be our other foot. And that is our pose right there. Literally breaking it down into the mannequin. That's all we do. If I downsize this... You can see now... Oh, we broke it down. Look at that. Sick. Let's draw the contour lines of where the legs are facing. So you can tell that by the knee, usually. Okay. And then it's curving downwards. Like this. And here it's kind of doing that. And then the middle contour is there. This line gets more narrow. The closer you, you are to the knee. Now from the knee. From the knee, it will do something like this. I, f Yeah. Cause it's giving that energy, right? Like that. So that means it was facing like this. Interesting. Which means that the knee is actually doing that. Because it's in front. So if we rub this out. The uh, knee is doing this because it's in front it's in front okay so if we break down the contour of this as well it face is facing down and this is facing up and then again the arm And that is our 
mannequin, our first one. So from here on, I'm gonna speed things up. And then we're gonna try make some of these by ourselves and see kind of how to apply this, uh, this, just how to apply it. Bye. 
Okay, so I've done a fair bit of them now. Just using cylinders. As you see, the longer time went by, the less confident I got my lines. Because this one was really tough. Because you can't really... It's not easy to break down into cylinders. It's just not. So, these are the last two I did. This one, I'm kind of happy with, actually. I really got the flow of the image. The hips pointing the right way. The chest also kind of rotated in that 3D space. I got it really well. And then... This is probably the one I'm most happy with. Because it was the easiest pose to do. I'm not gonna lie. It was the easiest. Um, it's just from the back. So all the cylinders were pretty much lined up for me already. Which is kind of annoying. Uh, but yeah, no. That, this one's great. This one turned out great. Same with this one. I'm actually a fan of this one. All the cylinders just broken down into some cool perspective. Uh, I really need to get the hang of like the the contour that's facing away. Still though, but this is great. <laughs> this was the hardest one because this front leg here had foreshortening, so it was gonna be way bigger than the back leg. And I really, really exaggerated it. Uh, what I think I didn't get down is how far she's leaning back. She's leaning back further than what I wrote. Than what I not wrote, but did. Because the line of her leaning back goes like this. And my one goes like that. So, yeah, my one goes like that. Hers is like that. So again, I need to just kind of get used to looking at leans a bit more. Because leans... I underestimate how far people lean. <laughs> uh, so my poses look a lot more stiffer. Okay, so since we've done all these figures, we've studied them, let's make one from our mind. Our mind does wonders, okay? And I'm not gonna go too crazy with it. I'm not gonna go too insane. But let's draw some, some pose that we can come up with. For example, a wave. I'm just gonna do something as simple as the wave. I say something as simple, but you'll see what I mean. It was quick, it was quick, I did it in like 10 minutes, but I feel like it will get my main message across. It's basically someone trying to wave and a run at the same time, so I guess this leg is the one I'm struggling with the most, because it... Okay, I, I didn't break it down to my head enough. The issue is, is that the leg is technically behind the hip. Like this. And it's running. Uh, from behind. So that means the perspective is going to get really warped. Like this. And then. Kind of like that actually. I think I did. I think I did it. At the moment. I, <laughs> I was with you guys. That's pretty funny. 
Uh, so yeah, it would be something like this. <laughs> yeah, I actually did it at the moment I got you guys, uh, I got back to you guys, so that's pretty insane. Okay. So yeah, person waving, kind of, while running, so they're hopping. On that one foot. So it's being foreshortened to the foreground. Uh, problem is, these arms kind of look flat. I had very, I had a difficult time kind of working with the hands to try and make them stand out a bit more in the foreground. But if you're doing that, it's not, there's no, there's very little foreshortening going on. So it's, it makes kind of sense that it's doing that. Um, another thing is probably like <clears throat> the proportion, right? So the cylinder would be a lot bigger here and it would be a lot bigger here just based on like what I want to do right just proportion work on some proportion a bit more because whenever I go off to draw my own I feel like I lose all sense of proportion and what this exercise will do is it will teach me to be like hey um these cylinders are this long, this long, and this long, kind of in this perspective. So it trains my eye to see proportion a bit more. Uh, this was definitely useful. And I feel like we're going to do this a bit more. Just use easier shapes first instead of like trying to guess and make other shapes. Like in here, definite improvement already. There's a lot more like... I feel like there's a lot more consistency in my proportion if I break it down into basic shapes. I just need to be able to see that in my head and be able to recreate that. Okay, so next day, tomorrow, I kind of want to study some anatomy, but at the same time, I feel like we're not ready. We're not ready. Because we need to get this down first so that we can put muscles on top of it, if you know what I'm saying. So... We're gonna be doing this a lot more, gesture drawing. Um, I don't. There will be a stage where I stop using cylinders, but for now, I feel like this is our best bet. We need to use these cylinders <laughs> to build these shapes in order to make our images look a lot more accurate, especially in perspective. Once we start using perspective, because again, I feel like I didn't use much perspective uh, the moment I started drawing this. Uh, from my mind but yeah we we're gonna mess around with this we're gonna mess around with this I'm gonna keep like gathering references and keep trying off camera to see but yeah that would be it if you guys enjoyed smash the like button as always subscribe if you're new and comment down below with your thoughts but apart from that I'll see all of you in the next one peace out <laughs>